Hello, we're here for Pilates Mat, Pilates Mat with the props. We're going to use the Pilates Roller and the Pilates Ring, also called the Pilates Magic Circle. So this is on the side as we'll integrate this into some forms, the ring, the roller, going through the mat class exercises today. If you would like a roller or a ring, all you need to do is schedule here at the club to come down. With that scheduled appointment, you can get a roller ring, bring it home so you have it available for your home workouts. And likewise, as we go through class, you can just edit omit, edit out. You can probably take the same form we're doing without the roller there, without holding to the ring. We'll use the ring with the leg and arms. You can go without a ring, omit the ring from the leg arm line, and you'll still have that same line in the form. All right, one more note before we start. I am wearing tennis shoes at home. You'll probably be in your socks, the socks slash bare feet. I'm wearing shoes because I am here at the club and I'm just trying to watch out for hygiene here at the club that I keep my shoes on as I work through the mat and onto the floor with my feet. Each Pilates workout a little different here in our YouTube channel. I'm wearing tennis shoes. All right, just a quick note and we'll start. So we're into the line of the roller. And as you come into the roller, to come to really feel it's firm down on the mat. You can feel it there right in the center line of your mat as you sit to one edge. Your feet to the front. Feel a parallel line of your legs and arms. Your arms will come down. Take that deep exhale breath. And with that exhalation, feel the core activate. That deep exhalation to the core activation as we're deepening into a C-curve spine. Your tailbone arcs under, your shin towards your chest. Good. Then as you're again right on this edge, you switch the edge if you don't feel you're in a right placement, and you'll slowly roll out your spine. Lower back, middle back, upper back. You're out flat to the line of the roller. So the function of our roller here is to imprint the tailbone, the scapula bones, feel the defined core cylinder. So with the breath moment, see if you can feel it's defining now with an exhale, more feeling, defined kinesthetically, the kinesthetic anchor point with the tailbone down and in. As your arms straight down, you start to feel they're draping down out from the scapula line. Through the exhale breath with the two scapula, retract to the roller. Exhale the air from your lungs. The well, roller just really helps us to find core cylinder as we breathe in a pre-Pilates stretch. We're going to do a pre-Pilates stretch, a single stretch just to sensate center, which is always based on that neurological length, the neurological release through your spine. As you feel the anchor points, you say anchor points, this anchor feeling of defined tailbone, scapula line, it really helps you note that there's always a mid-back length, something here through the middle back of your thoracic vertebrae that don't touch down. A little more, a little less each day, the variance of that neurological tension and holding in your spine. So it's just the natural shape, the natural length of your vertebrae. As you feel that tailbone, here's our pre-Pilates stretch. You'll draw one leg up, ankle on your thigh bone. And as your knees going out to that side wall, feel the opening through your hip. If it is now feeling tight in your hip, go ahead, take the leg in, back out. Maybe you want to go three, four times in, out, your choice. Leg in, out, three or four. Or just hold it out as we're here in this line to feel a release of the hip flexors. Opening out that hip, your knees on that wall. Here goes your head profile to the other side wall. Feel the exhale breath, deep abdominals to your spine. As you find that corseted feeling, the exhale is giving you a corseted inward feeling of that core cylinder. It really helps you now sensate the pre-Pilates stretches to release the tension zone of the hip socket. Likewise, the tension we all hold here in the necks to the shoulder. We have a little tension typically here at the neckline, the neckline muscles out to that upper trapezius, upper trap muscles. Bring your head back to the center line and your foot to the floor. 
So keeping the square line of shoulders, square hips, likewise nice symmetry, shoulder to hip. Feel that box torso, what Pilates work. Feel the exhales, defining your center, defining corseted in, feeling corseting in, they're going deeper in to the deeper inner abdominals as you exhale the air from your lungs. There goes other leg, leg up and out, We're going out to that external rotation from your hip, external rotation, and if this feels tight now in through the hip joint, instead of holding it out, it may feel better for you to go a little in to go back out, maybe three or four here, and now like a little winged motion to feel some release in through that hip joint, because there's a tightness sometimes more one side to the other, the embedded tendon ligaments releasing. Knee on that wall, gently send your head to the other side. And your head is profiled as you keep feeling navel to spine, the Pilates keyword as your navel sinks to your spine, navel to spine is that deep core feeling. It allows the neck shoulders to stretch open. As we go through the workout, we want to hold into the sensation, the feeling, the sensation you have in pre-Pilates. Open through the hip joint, open and release hip flexors, and light and release at the neck shoulder line. One more exhale breath, so you feel deep into those abdominals, that core activation, core activation through the exhalation. Good, foot to the floor, we'll go onward to 100 counts of breath. We're gonna use the ring for this one. So 100 counts, as it's called in Pilates, is in for five, exhale for five, 10 counts, inhalation five, exhalation five, and we'll count those 10 sets of 10 to make 100 counts of breath. So here goes the ring with this one. We're going to rotate out that external rotation from your hips, the Pilates V. Then we'll step out wide enough you can take the ring in and above your knees. This takes a moment to find out a comfortable spot. It's definitely not on the tendon ligaments of your knees. It's a comfortable spot above your knee joint. So we access that in the seam. The ring that we'll use today, we'll use above the knees and later above the ankles but it's to give you that deep abdominal interior line as your legs connect inward to the center. Take an exhale in out to the ring or just fold it in through the exhale to feel that is a deep connected integrated line, this inner structure of muscle. So if you don't feel deep enough to the scoop, the Pilates word is this inner abs drawing in as the exhale goes out, does it feel like a deep enough scoop? Scooping out may feel deeper chin to the chest position. Your head draws up gently, your chin is down towards your chest. This is the cycle. It's in and for five, out for five, ten sets of ten. Here we go, a hundred counts. Inhale in, exhale out. Then twenty. In with the air, in, out with the air, out. Thirty in. So chin to the chest again is designed to get more deep activation into your abs. If you feel now in that pose that there's some tension coming into the neck or the shoulder line, tension comes in, modify, bring your head back down. In with the air, in. And out with the air, out. Round loop of air, sniff through the nose, inhale. Back out through your nose with that strong feeling of the mouth. Head flat, or chin to the chest, and 70. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. 80. In. Out. And 90. In with the air. In. Out with 
the air out, exhale, X, 98, 99, and 100. 100 counts of breath complete. Gently come back if your head is up, come back with your head back down. Take an exhale breath, squeezing to the ring. 100 counts, so obvious as it feels now, like bolstering oxygen. It bolsters oxygen flow through all your muscle fibers of your anatomy. Lots of oxygen muscling through. It's also getting you very interior to your chi, or natural energy. So we do 100 counts of breaths, now bring us into the workout. Here's your elbows to you. Down in, draw your elbows to you low. If it doesn't feel good here with the ring, you can modify, take your ring out. Your positioning of the arms would just be down in the forearms, down in towards the mat. Elbow through the fingertips, narrow those arms in. Whether your arms are down or using the ring, we're trying to go deep into these scapular stabilization muscles. So that core cylinder connects from the base, up and in, deep abdominals. Here's that high point of center, the scapula line, where your ribs lace to your sternum bone. Good. So our bridge pose, squeeze to the rig, or arms down. Here's the tail wag tilt feeling. We call tilt as a Pilates word. It does feel like a tail wag. Your tailbone wags forward, up a little diagonal, back flat. It's a tilt motion. Take a motion just to feel the tilt as we go to the next form of bridge. The bridge pose starts with the tilt of your tailbone. So from that exhale breath of the tilt, tilt bridge up. Into your lower back, exhale breath. Take a breath moment, holding to that lumbar bridge up. And back down. Again, squeezing to the ring, it doesn't feel good, you'll just take the ring out, set it to the floor, arms on the mat, rep two, a small bridge that it's a tilt to go to a small length up into your low back, maybe two, three, four, five into that lumbar width, your lumbar spine. And back down gently into the line of your tailbone. And tilt bridge up, exhale breath. So as you work into the core cylinder now deeper, we're gonna go four more reps in our bridge. Starting our workout, we're gonna go deeper in. As you go deeper into that corseted feeling of core cylinder, you should really now feel that you can shrug your shoulder line or shrug roll those shoulders back, that you really are facilitating a deeper core to let go of the neck shoulder muscles. Here we go to four more reps in the bridge. Feel the tilt, starting your bridge motion. Tilt, exhale, bridge up. And tilt bridge up. Keep feeling your breath. Tilt bridge, exhale. Take another breath, holding up, up against gravity as you exhale there from your lungs. And back down. And tilt bridge, lift. Take the last rep up to hold. Tilt your tailbone, hold to that lumbar bridge, the width of your low back up from the roller. Squeeze to the ring, get more strength and development into these scapular stabilization muscles. Stabilization muscles or the deep intrinsic muscles of that core cylinder. So you can hold into the ring or take a few little pulses in and out. And out to the ring or hold in as we're holding up to that bridge pose. Exhale, holding up against gravity. Now gently coming back to the line of your tailbone. We're taking a marching step from the floor. 
Come back in heel to heels, that Pilates V. Your heels are together, your toes are apart. The marching step is out of Pilates V. That external rotation from your hips. We hold the Pilates foot stance to the floor, heel to heel, and come up with the next leg. And you can go now less range of motion, just a little up with the leg line, back in heel to heel. A little up, a little more up, come back to the floor. We're going to move now to your pace, your slow enough pace so you can really feel you're working from this inner body line, this inner structural postural line, the postural muscle line. We're marching in and through that inner thigh line strength. We'll go four more marching steps, up, down, up, down. Place both feet down to the mat. Here we go, tilt bridge. Time that same tilt motion, bridge back up to the lumbar spine. We're going to hold the bridge as the arms move out to the front. Sway your arms to the range where you're still in the center. You'll feel if you go too far, you're out of center. The ribs will splay open. Keep that deep contained feeling of the core cylinder base connecting up to the high point of center. Ribs lace to the sternum. You can feel your arms connected, integrated at that line. Feel your range of motion, your line to the back, into the front, elbows to you. So it goes out one, forward to the front two, overhead three, back to the front four, into five. This is too challenging now up in that bridge pose. If it's too challenging up holding bridge, it is a deep core to hold that pose. You can modify now, come back to your tailbone, the neutral spine tailbone. You would do this set of reps now holding. The modified line of your tailbone in this imprint, your tailbone on the roller. Otherwise, we'll hold to the tilt bridge up. Here we go. Out in that line. Feel the range out from center. Back in. Again, this is going to move you through your day as you move through the forms of Pilates workout mat class. It is through the day that you want to feel just as you feel through the forms, the exercises. This line is the deepest line you can go to without going out from that integrated feeling, the core cylinder. There is a range that would be out from center. But here's that deep line where you can feel whites of the eyes, your body awareness, the connection through to the core from center. Here we go, one more rep. And back in home base. Exhale, feel the squeeze to the ring as your tailbone comes back, imprinting down. Feel that neutral position of your tailbone down to the roller. Good. So the ring's going to come out. It's going to come out one side or the other from the roller line. So the roller's going to come behind us to feel a C curve. It's going to go behind you. It's in the middle of your mat. Your feet are out off the floor or onto the edge of your mat. You're going to take a C curve, your forearms press down, and literally down with your forearm line, elbow through your fingertips. This forearm line pressing down will feel exactly as you do holding to the rim, then it'll feel very precise into this fire working line with the scapular stabilization muscles. Your chin comes to your chest. You may need to adjust this in. It's at the base of your scapular bones. Into a C. The lumbar curl rounding in your low back, your chin to your chest, you're in a C-curve spine. We'll come up and hold one breath moment, you're up from the mat in that C-curve, keep pressing your core down, down. And come back sitting into the runway of your mat. Exhale breath. Good. So here we go, turning around towards the roller. So this line is a flat back. 
and your forearms press down. Take a moment to roll into roll into your forearms. And this line is your out one long line, horizontal tailbone out the top of your head. You may feel more. There really is that integrated feeling, the arms connected inward from that scapula line. We can shrug or shrug, roll the shoulders as the fire working line is in through core. Take one more exhale breath, in out, exhale. We're gonna go to plank next. So here's your roller on the runway of your mat. As your palms press in, if you decide you don't like this feeling of your palms in on the roller, maybe it's best to scoot your roller forward and take the palms into the mat for the plank position. So either way, whatever feels good to you, on the roller, I'm going to go on the mat today. Your arms are down and take a moment to feel that tall feeling of up from the floor, in up from the floor, from the mat, scoop and lift. There's a real alignment here with the pillar arms, the pillar symmetry of your arms. As you feel center, you'll take your leg out. So a modified plank will be the single leg out, that long line, sit bone to your heel bone, and lift. So you can stay with one leg today, or go right up two legs, parallel arms and leg, and lift to the plank. Keep breathing, lift up against the gravity. If you're in the single leg, switch legs now. That single leg down, your leg is long, sit bone to the long length of the hamstring, sit bone out to that heel bone, single leg, or double leg, Lift to the plank. One more breath moment, lifting. Back down, we're coming rounding into a seat. So now the roller will be here for your pillow arms as you go rounding in the seat. Your tailbone's arcing under. Your chin comes down to your chest. Exhale, breath. Take another exhale and may put the roller in closer to you. So then there's a deeper arc, more range of motion, more deep arc to the length of your vertebrae. Tailbone arcing under, your chin to your chest. One more breath moment to feel the dangle of your neckline. There's going to be a bowling ball weightedness feeling to your head. As we get the more weightedness of the head, it can release a very subtle feeling of tension that may be here in your jawbone line. To create a hanging jaw, more supple released through the neck muscles. We're going to articulate out to a flat back. So your head's going to go first. And through the vertebrae line of you, go out with your head, vertebrae, vertebrae, upper back, middle back, lower back, to your tabletop spine. So we're here in a nice aligned feeling of the pillar arms, holding down to a flat back, and I go out from core cylinder, that deep abdominal stronghold of center, opposite arm to the leg. If you don't like your arm going sideways in this form, you can choose side or forward. But it's a real injury prevention feeling as you connect mind-body through your exhale breath, you can feel the alignment, so here would be a nice aligned feeling of the box torso, square symmetry, shoulder to shoulder. Likewise, that symmetry of your shoulder to your hip. You can feel your alignment, but it's that breath of the exhale that helps you feel the inner stabilization, that injury prevention, whether you're here at the gym lifting weights or doing other workouts, you want to feel that deep stabilization, connect to that inner awareness of the core, then move out. Take a few breath moments, holding out and reach outward as you exhale there from your lungs. And back in. Where shoulder to shoulder is a nice symmetry, like as you can feel that symmetry of your shoulder to your hip. But it's that exhale for injury prevention. You want to really feel that white to the eyes, as we say at Pilates, is a feeling of deep activation. From that feeling, we're moving out opposite arm to a leg. Feel that, and then move. Exhale, breath. 
reach. Feel that concentration, keep feeling buoyant and lifted through your center. And back in. Good. So again, lifting weights, even motions through your day, the biomechanic motions of the day. It's great to feel that body awareness that the exhale brings you deep to a stabilization. Then once you feel that, you're lifting the grocery bags, feel that deep activation stabilization and then move from there. Out with the toes and fingers, go lengthening and go deeper in, navel at your spine. Good. Feeling alignment. Feel how your breath draws you in. Go deeper in. Descend the line out. Keep reaching. Exhale, breath. Tailbone arcs under, your chin towards your chest. Feel a nice exhale breath. Maybe you can feel a little bit, there's more release at the neck shoulders. We really do want to stretch and feel light and open at the neck shoulders as we focus to the scoop. Deep abdominals scooping inward. Exhale for a little more dangle at your neck. Good, now go out to that flat tabletop, articulating the spine, your head goes first, move right out, through the length, upper back, middle back, lower back, one long line, flat, and out. Good, here goes the roller out on the runway of the mat. We're going to use this roller now as a tool to feel that high point of center, that's where those deep abdominals from the base connect up and in. The high point of center is where your ribs are lacing to your sternum bone. So that line, that actual alignment is going to be here to the roller. When you get here, if you don't like this feeling, just how it feels to you, you can just modify, take your roller off. So otherwise, we'll come to here, a small back extension, your arms to the front, as your legs go back. Bend your elbows in, take a moment to feel that alignment, rollers in with the ribs laced to the sternum bone. We're going to rotate out, bodies be stance, your heels are in, your toes are apart. Draw your legs in, a little into the knee flexion, and a little more knee flexion. In, send it back out. tendon ligaments of your knee. Just feel like that's a nice stretch as we go three more reps, inhaling. We're now going to go deeper in, belly button to you, in up lift as you send the line out. Feeling the buoyancy, that light and lifted feeling. One more rep of lifting through center. Out with the legs. We're now going to go single leg out. Draw one leg in. 
We're gonna go slowly starting into the side of the reps. We can go in really feeling that inner thigh line zip. One leg in, one leg out. Alternating the legs. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. So again, you can make less range of motion with the knee, bending in less range, less knee flexion, or a little more knee flexion. The fine now is you keep holding to that inseam of the legs, the stronghold of those inner thigh line muscles. You can find out pace and rhythm. The breath moves through. We'll let one more breath go through that line. Send both legs back out, out to parallel. So now we'll go lifting up to the palms of your hands. We're straight, we're a little taller into the back extension. Long elbows without locking at your elbow line. Extend the elbows long. Long pillar arms go doming into the C. This comes in under you as you scoop and go around the scooping abs. The round arctic vertebrae, exhale breath. Good, so we're going to go into the sideline of your IT band. We're turn sideways, and your low leg is into the line of your roller comfortably here. And you can adjust it where it's really going to take a moment to adjust in, and it's really not on your hip bone. It really is your leg line in as you bring your front leg forward. Inner thigh line again is a stronghold at Pilates. We're always working to this inseam. Stronghold of the inseam as your heel aims up. Keep that rolling, you can roll. So now as you've got the line, you can really feel you're into the iliotibial band. That line of the IT band is the rolling pin roll. You can find just how much pressure you want, how intense or deep you want that pressure to be. If you want it light, keep a nice body weight feeling of a deep footprint here, more body weight into that front leg. Or lighten up the front leg, more rolling pin roll. If you want a really deep IT band pressure, you'll get the maximum pressure if you take both legs off. Stay with both legs or come back to that front standing leg, feeling how much pressure you want with the front leg. So it's a nice deep length into the iliotibial band. Rolling along a few more breaths. Slow it down. And we'll take one more breath, rolling to the roller. Good. We're going to turn into the leg that you're on. That line of the leg is into the roller. Your feet can now be off the mat as you scoot into the line of your hamstrings. The footprint off the mat or on the mat. We're going to come in literally right into the belly or a big part of your hamstring line. The back of the leg, you feel that hamstring group of three. You have three there. That hamstring group, there's three. But that middle one, and the hamstring group of three, that middle one, there is a deep feeling that feels good into the roller. Roll into your hamstring line. If you want more length to that line, it may feel like a deeper length and stretch. Going from that sit bone out to your heel bone, a flex foot stance.
You can keep lengthening the hamstrings. You'll also feel a little more stretch into that hip flexor line. A nice crease fold into the hip. Aesthetic feeling of a rolling pin line of the hamstring length. As you're ready, put that lovely crease fold of the hip as you gently sit to the mat. We'll go C curve spine. You may need to adjust this in so that it's a comfortable line under your knees. As you come forward, let your chin come to your chest. Walk your hands down so you're in a C curve. Exhale, breath, lengthening those arced vertebrae, the length of your low back curling in, your chin towards your chest. So you want to come up vertical, like a stiff back chair coming behind you. Come up vertical by feeling the sit bones come down. The two sit bones come down, the fork prongs down, the sit bones down. So a back chair is behind you, that back length of the awareness of the square torso. Nice symmetry feeling of a torso box as the Pilates were in the box. But feel the scoop and lift of center. And up. Your belly button is open to healing, a little light from the exhale, the belly button drawing up on an in. Good. Bring your legs out to one side of the roller so we can switch the other side, that IT band length. So it'll be your other leg coming into the roller, the leg coming down. Once you find it in comfortably to that IT band, the iliotibial band, it really does take a moment to feel comfortable as you draw into the inseam strength. Inner thigh line is the stronghold as you aim that heel to the ceiling, find your rolling pin roll. Then you can feel how much pressure you want there. A light roll is putting lots of body weight into the front leg. If you want more pressure, you're going to lighten up the front leg. Maybe your light pressure might mean that you're just in the ball of the foot toes. The maximum pressure length into your iliotibial tilde band roll is two legs up. Just keep feeling that's good for you. Maybe it's likewise good for you with Pilates. You're always finding your pace, the actual pace and rhythm in the line, so this line of motion might move much slower in that rolling and roll. Good. 
your legs down to a parallel, the symmetry stance, you should bend your knees, walk your arms in, a stretch into that length of the C. Arms come in, doming around, feel your C curve spine. Good, so we're gonna send the left arm forward with the roller. Here goes a twist. So this left arm, whichever arm is forward, is the roller arm here. This arm goes with you to a twist. The first twist is your middle, the thoracic twist, then to your neckline as you aim down towards the mat. Gently exhale, your head can hover here or all the way down, slide profile. And exhale, breath. Keep feeling the spiral of your middle, this arm connected from center. Lift. As you're ready, draw your belly down towards the ceiling like puppet string and drop feeling through the middles as roller scoots back in under you so you can feel a more depth, more range in that depth of your C, the arcing vertebrae. Chin to your chest, exhale breath. Here we go, other side. So your other arm is out on the roller length. If you don't like it on the roller, that can feel good, modify hand to the mat. But here we go to the twist, your thoracic. Your middle spine at the belly button line, a little rope waist middle, then the second twist is here to your neckline, find that spiral to the middle, then to the neckline as you gently go profile, hold to the twist as the breath moves through. Belly button up to the ceiling as you come out from that twist, the neckline first, and out from the twist to your middle, come back, round it in, one more C-curve spine, exhale, breath. Good, we're going to the roller right into the middle of the mat from a sitting posture, there's the roller here, you're going to walk around off your mat, and as you sit with that roller behind you, there's an image like a stiff back chair coming behind you that you sit to that torso box frame, and so a chair box was behind you, the box frame aligns you, you can feel the symmetry, but it's that real interior feeling of the exhale. The belly button draws up and in. We're going to finish in a twist here that's going to give more length to the neck. So find a comfortable knee flexion. Maybe if there's less flexion, it's more comfortable with less flexion of your knees. Your feet are farther to the front. Maybe you're now going to get more sensation into your pelvis, the sit bones down, and how there's that deep inseam, that postural lift of in up, an alignment and lift as we go lift twist, opposite arm to your leg, twist to the middle, then twist to your neckline.
Keep looking over the back shoulder. Exhale, breath. So this is a still point, and just if you felt an emotion in the still poses, so you can tell it's that inner concentration that draws you deeper in as you exhale there from your lungs. And unravel through the other side, opposite arm to leg. Should feel like a rope waist to the middle, that rope waist twine twist feeling. Twine twist to the rope waist. Bend through the neckline, your cervical spine. Go deeper in, exhaling to get more range in that mobile feeling of the spiral to your middle, spiral lift to the twist. back gently. We're going to take both arms out, low diagonal. Now we're going to move in that twist. So your arms are a little lower than the tabletop horizontal plane. The diagonal is a little lower. The diagonal keeps us really focused into that scapula line. Those abdominals that scoop up on the end or in up to the scapular stabilization. We're going to move two reps slowly. So you can feel the forms of bodies really are the forms that are the goals of the day to keep this integrated feeling. As you move now in a flowing motion, the arms are integrated through your center. Reaching through the fingertips. Keep feeling that in-up lift. Navel in-up to the spine. slower pace. Again, once you feel your alignment in a form at Pilates, then you find your pace and rhythm. A flowing motion that goes outward from a strong center. As you're ready to come back, we'll take one breath moment. If you had a breath moment of your day in your chair, sitting postural line, sometimes it's a helpful tool just to integrate that feeling of the workout. When you take your arms behind the line of your hips, your parallel sleeve arms, the sleeve length into a nice parallel, narrow towards the hips and back behind the hip bones. Once you feel the fingerprint going back diagonal, you'll feel more how there's that alignment and lift, that integrated feeling. That's a nice injury prevention to have your limbs inward integrated through core. Take one more breath, feeling that, and let your arms drape back down. Sitting tall, finishing our workout today. Bring your workout, your Pilates center through your day. Have a fantastic day.